Good day friends, welcome once again to this channel, the Fred Academy, and we shall continue in this video on the topic descriptive terms used in Christology, part 3. Okay, we started uh, this video earlier on and um, we have the part 1, the part 2 and then today we shall be looking at the third part of this video. So the, we shall be looking at the following terms, the meaning of fovea, Facet, corner, head, and then trochlea. Okay? So, um, we shall start with the term fovea. And as usual, I shall be uh, showing you examples from the bones I have on the table here. Okay? So, what is a fovea? Okay? A fovea is a small depression or a pit. A small depression or a pit present on a bone. Okay, or on the surface of a bone. And then example is the coastal fovea. Is, sorry, example is the the fovea capitis. Okay. Example fovea capitis. Okay, which is present on the head of the femur. This is the femur. So on the head of this femur, this is the head of the femur, we have a small depression or pit on it. So this is called the fovea capitis. The second term is uh, facet. So, what is a facet? I'll get the bone. Okay. A facet is a facet is a small articular surface, okay, of a bone or present on a bone. A small articular surface. An example we have is the is the coastal facet, okay. A coastal facet that is an area where the rib attaches to the, the thoracic vertebrae. Okay, so the rib attaches the head of the rib and uh, the tobacco of the rib attaches to the this uh, thoracic vertebrae. So on this part of the rib, just at the ventral aspect of the transverse uh, process of this thoracic vertebrae, is a small articular surface that is called the coastal facet. The third term here is a condyle. A condyle. What is a condyle? A condyle is a, cyl a, a, a cylindrical articular projection. Okay? A cylindrical articular projection. Now, on this bone, the humerus, uh, there is the presence of, a, of condyles at the distal extremity. Okay, this is the distal extremity. So, and on this portion, of course, this is the proximal extremity. On this distal extremity, we have the condyle. So, this condyle is actually the larger articular portion. Okay, the larger articular portion of this distal extremity. Of course, the smaller portion is the capitulum. Okay, so this is called the humeral condyle. The humeral condyle. Okay, so we said it is a, a, a cylindrical articular projection. A cylindrical articular projection. Now let's look at the fourth term head. The fourth term head, okay, is. Um, Okay. The head is okay. I also let me get one. The head is uh, this is the femur. Okay, the femur has a head. Okay, even the humerus also has a head. You see both of them. Okay, this is the humerus, it has a head. This is the femur, it also has a head. So, what is a head? A head is a rounded articular projection. Okay, it is a rounded articular projection. You see, it is rounded. A head, the head is a rounded articular projection. So you find that on the head of the femur. You also find that on the head of the humerus. Okay. Now, the final one is the trochlea. What 
is a trochlea. Trochlea is a pulley like articular projection. Okay? A trochlea is a pulley like articular projection. Now, if you look at this structure very well on the distal extremity of the humerus still, okay? Now, this structure here appears like a pulley. Okay? See, it appears like a pulley. Alright? So that's what we say is a pulley like a articular projection. So this is a trochlea. Okay? It is a pulley like articular projection. I think uh, this has helped you. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And as usual, I would advise that you subscribe to the channel, Dr. Fred's Academy. Drop your comments uh, when, when necessary. If you have questions you can drop your comments and uh, don't forget to uh, click on the notification bell icon when you have subscribed thank you very much